to get the quest you need to talk to Rate Bailiff. Let's hope there's no trouble today. You look like you've got a lot on your plate, Master Bailiff. Is work keeping you busy? Busy? I've had so many visitors I wouldn't wonder if the door fell off its hinges. What's going on? I've been given the task of putting some of the Scarlet's refugees to work. It's not that there's a shortage of jobs, the problem's sharing them out fairly. I understand. Everyone has mouths to feed. The worst part is they won't tell you who really needs a job the most, but you might be able to help, Henry. Oh. They're like to be more honest with you, so you can find out who's in the most need. And you can decide for yourself who'll do what. Will you help? If you need help, I'll do whatever I can. You're a godsend. I'm sure it won't take too long. You know how the refugees are getting on, don't you? But ask around if you need to find out more. What kind of work are we talking about? Well, old Hagen is looking for a cook, and we need three, actually five, carriers. A cook and five water carriers? That sounds simple enough. Is there a problem? A little. We need three water carriers, but the other two will have to carry... Begging your pardon. Shit. Or as the Pope would say, excrement. Is there anyone who can tell me more about it? Yes, the merchant Conrad Hagen is the one looking for a cook, so you can talk to him. And young Alex will know which of the Scarlet's folk are best suited to the job. The first thing that you need to do is to talk to the beggar Alex. His location will be marked on your map. I'd like to ask about our former neighbours. There are jobs here for some of them and I have to pick people. But the bailiff told me about it. He still wants our people to do the knacker's job? And what of it? It will benefit everyone. Not everyone. There's not enough work for everyone. And no one wants to do the knacker's job. But having a job could save someone's life. Water carrying, maybe. But if they have to do a job, it's not fit for a decent person, only for the knacker or the executioner's servant. So you think there's no point in it? That it's better to beg than have a job, even if it is falling shit? You forget that that's a job for the knacker's hired hand, not for displaced people. When we return to Skelitz, they'll never be able to rid themselves of the snake. So, do you know who's most in need of some coin and is fit for hard work? Everyone's in need of coin, but not everyone is fit for such work. Who should I talk to? Where will I find them? I'll talk to them myself and send them to meet you in front of the rat house, so they'll all be in one place. It'll take me a while, though. I'm also looking for a cook. Do you know of a good cook who's looking for work? Well, there's Agnes. I've heard she can cook better than anyone. Only... Well, what's the problem? Did something happen to her? No, it's just that I haven't seen her around here for ages. I believe she's cooking for the local parish priest and living at the presbytery. So I don't think she's in need of work. Thanks. I'll go. Now talk to Merchant Hagen to know what his requirement for the cook are. His location is also marked on the map. How are you, Henry? The bailiff sent me. He said you're looking for a cook. That's right. I'm searching for a good cook. But I've said all that to our esteemed bailiff. Well, I offered the bailiff my help because I know the Scalitz folk. Ah, I see. Well, ask away then. Do you have any particular requirements for the new cook? Well, it would be an advantage if she knew how to cook. Well, yes, but the bailiff said you had other conditions. Well, I want a woman who's capable of looking after the house when I'm away Good on day, business. Henry. Young? Nimble? What for? I want her to impress people with her food, not her face. I understand. Sorry. Once you know what he wants in a cook, walk over to the church and look for Agnes inside the church. 
ask her if she is housekeeping for Rovna and then choose the options as shown in the video to convince her to take the job. Are you Agnes, who works at St. James? I am. Or I did, before those devils rolled in and burnt down scallets. Why do you ask? I'm looking for a good cook and housekeeper, and everyone I asked sent me to you. No, oh, I've been blessed by God. So it seems. Anyway, the local merchant wants someone who can cook food fit for nobility and take care of his household. Well, Father Francis was very fond of good food, but I can't just go serve someone else. Why not? Because I'm still Father Francis's housekeeper. But I heard he fled and isn't coming back. Don't pay any attention. They're just rumours. I'm still his housekeeper. Father Francis no longer needs a housekeeper. What? Don't tell me he's found a new one. Well, I probably shouldn't tell you. I'm afraid that's just how it is. But that's not like him. Somebody must have been putting ideas into his head. I'll have to go back and talk to him. But he's, he's not at St. James's. No. Then where is he? And why does he have a new housekeeper there? They're sending him away, somewhere to South Bohemia. I was told they've arranged all the help he needs there already. But what will I do? We didn't want to drag you away somewhere else, since you've been here your whole life. That's true, but what will he do without me? Who will take care of him? I'm sure he'll be well taken care of. But what about you? You could have a good life as Hagen's housekeeper. Very well. I'll go and work for him then. God bless. Now you have to wait for the next day noon to meet the candidates near the Rattay Rat House. But before that, buy a portion marigold decoction from the Rattay Apothecary. You will need it for the quest. This is the medicine, marigold decoction that you have to buy. Pick the dialogue options for each person as shown in the video. When assigning positions to people, make sure to select the correct candidate or the bailiff won't give you any further jobs. Also, if you don't assign correct job to Pikmin, it will affect your Queen of Sheba sword quest. Hey, I'm glad to see you. You hear about the water carrying? I am. Where do I get some pails? Hold your horses. We haven't decided yet who gets the job. I have to ask you a few things first. What for? I can handle the job. Would ask away. What would you give me if I recommended you? What could I give when I don't have a pot to piss in? All I have is a strong arm. Whenever I hit anything or anyone, they stay hit. Well, if I get you the job, will you show me how to really hit someone hard? I could. Deal, then. Deal. I know everything I need. You're interested in carrying water? I am. It's about time something good came to decent folk. I agree. Now, I'll ask you a few questions. What? But I want the work and I deserve it. Keep your questions for good for nothings. That's enough for now. And what would you give me if I put in a good word for you? I've got nothing to give. Oh, come now. You say you want the job, so prove it to me. Mother told me I should go and help. If you don't want my help, fair enough. 
That's enough for now. What do you want? I want to work. And I heard you're the one in charge of giving out jobs, not the bailiff. It's true. Do you know how to cook? If you know how to make food for nobles, then I might have something for you. Where would I learn to cook food for nobles? I want to carry water. But Alex has already picked people who want to carry water. He didn't ask me though, so I came here myself. Look, I already have more people than jobs. You're a bit late. But I really need a job. But so does everyone else around here. None of them has a husband on his deathbed. All right. I'll think about it and talk to the bailiff. And you'll tell him to take me, right? You're one of the people interested in work? Well, Alex told me that I'm supposed to ask about a job carrying water. That's right. But first, I'll ask you a few questions. You are... Peter. But everyone calls me Rock. There was more than enough Peters in the mines, and not just in the mines. So... How are you holding up? You mean this here? Well, I've got feeling back in my arm again. What happened to it, anyway? That time in Scalitz. I was knocked down by a horse. But it's better now. Look, I can see by the way your arm is hanging, it's not healed. You can't carry water like that. Well, come on. I owe money to the Sawbones and I need the work to pay for it. I'll give you anything you want. Well, I could find something that will help you. Anything? If you have brought Marigold League auction, then you can choose the first option. Otherwise, you will have to choose the second option and then buy and come back. Here you go. This will help it heal better. Thank you so much. How much do I owe? No, oh, nothing. We Scalitz folk have to help each other out. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. There's one more option. Carrying shit. What? For the knacker? It's a job. But what would people say? I need money badly, but I couldn't go back to mining after that. But it would be twice the pay. The money would help, true enough. But what about afterwards? I don't want to be carrying shit all my life. Now, it won't come to that. So Radzig will surely take care of things when he returns home. He won't forget the sacrifice you make. I'm glad to hear that. If that's how it is, I'll even carry shit. You hear about the water carrying? Aye. I can haul water all day long. So, do you want the job? There's plenty of other folk that will take it if you don't. I do. I want it. What do I have to do? Well, I could put in a good word for you, but uh, you'll have to scratch my back, too. Fair enough. Show me where it itches. No, you dolt. It's just a saying. Like, I do something for you, and you do something for me. Ah, right. I see. Well, as it happens, I've got something great for you. Treasure you wouldn't dream of. Treasure, you say? Right, you've got my attention. I see you're a smart man. A man who knows a thing or two about the world. I've got... Wait for it. I've got a piece of the Queen of Sheba's sword. Never heard of her. Who's she? She was a great queen in ancient times. She gave Solomon a sword. A sword with magical powers. Magical, eh? You shouldn't believe everything you hear. No. It's true. It's in the Bible. And this sword, once it's put back together, nothing can stop it. 
It can cut through bones, teeth, even steel and stone. I see. But you've only got one piece. What's that good for? Uh, I couldn't get it all. The fellow I bought it off didn't have the rest. He sold off bits and pieces. But they've got powers of healing, you see? And, and put strength in your... <laughs> you know... <laughs> manhood. <laughs> what do you say? Deal? We'll shake on it. I'll get you the job, and you'll give me the piece of the Queen of Sheba's sword. Agreed! Now go to the bailiff and tell him your choice of candidates for different job as shown in the video. Make sure to select the correct candidate or you won't get any further jobs from the bailiff. I know everything I need to know to pick the carriers. Splendid. I'll be glad to get this damn business off my back. So how have you decided? So, how do we do this? Do I just give you their names, or should I send for them? Just tell me their names and whether they should carry water or something else. Don't worry, I'll send for them. Tonda. They call him the Winch. The Winch? Not to be good with a bucket anyway. What's he going to do? To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Peter. Better known as Rock. Peter? Rock? Didn't he get into a fight and injure his arm? Well, what should he do? Carrying shit. Good. One person for this job. Next. Vincent, Moimir's son. Vincent? Never heard of him. What do you think he should do? To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Vasil. Goes by the moniker of Pikmin. Pikmin. I hope he doesn't have a history of pickpocketing. No, no. They call him Pikmin because he worked in the silver mines, and he was very keen with the pick. So much so, he managed to chop off two of his fingers. Well, he can't do too much damage with a bucket, I suppose. Where do you want to put him? To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Antonia. What? A woman? Yeah, is that a problem? You never said it had to be only men. I didn't, but I kind of assumed it would be clear. It's a long walk with a heavy load. Man's work. She can handle the job. Have no fear. Let's hope so. You'll have to answer to me if she can't. Where do we put her, then? Carrying shit. Good. One person for this job. Next. That's it. Good. All decided. Now about the cook's job. I chose a cook as well. Should I tell you or go to Hagen? Tell me who you chose and I'll take care of it. I chose old Agnes for the cook's job. I had a job convincing her, but it was worth it. She's the best cook around. Glad to hear it. I'll have to drop in on Hagen for lunch sometime. Hey, Henry's come to see us! 